bombers have yet to drop a Colonial League contest, led in more ways than one by Beth Morgan. The senior coming off a 15-point effort in Palmerton's 13th consecutive league win. However, it is Northwestern hot from the jump in this one. The Tigers did not miss early, opening up a 9-2 lead off a of Brook Valiant 2 from long range. Paige Severin tallying 6 in the first quarter, giving the visitors their largest lead at 9. Northwestern up 13-7 after 1. Severin had her way from the post in this one. She'll knock down back-to-back -back buckets to open up the second, making this a 10-point advantage. The 1,000-point scorer with another 8 in the frame. She'll have 14 by halftime. Northwestern in front by 12, 29-17 at the break. Some solid defense from the Tigers kept Palmerton at bay for most of the third, maintaining at least an eight-point lead, that is, until a Hannah Berry tray. She'll finish with eight for the Bombers. Tigers up 36-28, heading to the fourth. Beth Morgan, who had just four points at the half, rattled off 11 in the final quarter, finishing with a game-high 21 points. The underhand lay-in making it just a two-point game with two and a half left in regulation. Then it's Balliot taking it to the cup to go back up by four, and then Kara Thomas will find Severin to push the lead back to five with just 41 seconds remaining. That enough cushion to hold on to as the Tigers get their revenge, winning it 43 to 40. It was definitely a tough game, and we had to like battle the whole time. So it was just really like nice and exciting to come out with the dub. I think that this time through that we were we came with more energy from on and off the bench, and I think that was a big component as well as overall playing together. Not just peaking at the right time of the year, but also building up some confidence as a group are the Tigers now after back-to-back -back road wins against two tough Colonial League opponents. This has been a good week for us. I mean, Tuesday was a tight game with Notre Dame by three, and tonight was a tight game by three. A lot of our games haven't been, and I think this is good for us. How do we handle situations like that when you're being pushed? And I thought to win two road games like this on the road both, I thought we did a nice job at the end executing and making just enough plays. Now, like later in the season, we, we want to be like at our best going into the postseason. So we have a lot of energy just like going further and further. Um, but we're coming in prepared to our games, confident and just ready to play. On the scene in Palmerton, I'm Cassie Schmidt reporting for the SC Network.